It was this afternoon that is located between Indianapolis and St. Louis. And less than 30 minutes after the announcement of Johnson's capture, Shelby County District Attorney's Office released a statement about the second arrest. Cornelius Smith was captured in DeSoto County. Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Merle Purvis. I'm Daryl Green. Now, this is a story we first broke right here on Fox 13 News at 5. Our Jeremy Pierre got several tips that the arrest and captures had been made. He has what you need to know about the arrest of both men. Now, what this exactly shows is how much further along police have actually been in this investigation further, much further than the public thought. Now, what we are about to share with you right now involves the man we've been identifying as suspect number two. That man in the Bass Pro hat you're looking at right there on your screen. Today, three independent sources told me that man is Cornelius Smith and was arrested in South Haven. What the district attorney's office just told Fox 13 is that Smith had been in jail since December 9th, accused in the theft of this white Mercedes Benz. It was used in the killing of young Dolph, and he's been locked up in DeSoto County until just about six hours ago when he was booked into the Shelby County 201 jail on first degree murder charges. What makes this stand out more is that Smith's charges were upgraded to first degree murder charges within hours of the second suspect, a man we first identified last week as Justin Johnson. U.S. Marshals searching for Johnson captured him today in Terre Haute, Indiana, a small town between Indianapolis and St. Louis. We also learned the day of young Dolph's death. His brother, his brother happened to be with him. His brother was again with him and Smith is also facing attempted murder for firing at young Dolph's brother. I do expect to hear from District Attorney, Shelby County District Attorney, Amy Wyrick, as well as Memphis Police Chief, CJ Davis tomorrow. Of course, we're gonna begin coverage of that uh, first thing on Good Morning Memphis. Reporting here in the newsroom, Jeremy Pierre, Fox 13 News. And tonight, we are getting word of exactly where Cornelius Smith was arrested in Mississippi. According to South Haven Police, Smith was on Airways, right there near the Dollar General. That's located on Airways north of Rasco Road. And police say he had a warrant for property crime at the time of his arrest. Right now, it's not known if South Haven Police knew about the possible involvement with the murder of young John. <sighs> Somebody had to snitch on these dudes, man. Mm-hmm. And all I got to say is, got him. <laughs> so if uh, somebody's snitching, if y'all would have closed your mouths and opened your ears, he said three independent sources, okay? Three, not one, not two, but three say, okay? So that means there was five people or they knew about the hit. They didn't get paid for the hit. So they snitched on the niggas that did the hit. Y'all think about that, huh? Hey, y'all gotta, y'all gotta put the, y'all gotta be like from the streets to really think street, because Justin Johnson was on the run. Ain't nobody. They didn't have no numbers. No, they didn't have none of that. So guess what? Three independent sources is snitching, and don't let it be a girl, cause you know what they say about a scold woman. Oh, she a cold woman. That's all I got to say. But they're not going to tell who snitched. They ain't going to tell that. But all I got to say is, somebody told these dudes that who killed Young Dolph. They didn't get no money for it. They saw all that flexing. They are like, oh, bet. Send them in. Three independent sources. That's all I got to say. I'm out. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going.